Recent strides and stumbles in the area of queer representation in media have again put a spotlight on the question of who are the most appropriate people to play the roles of trans and non-binary characters in TV and movies. While cisgender actors have frequently been used to play trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming roles, their lack of perspective when it comes to dealing with questioning gender, combined with the serious lack of roles like that to audition for, point to the need for more opportunities for trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming people to be able to tell their own stories. Like these three actors who have been making a big splash, taking on the roles of trans and non-binary characters. Before we continue, here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll always be the first to know about great queer space content like this. Genderqueer actor Lachlan Watson stars as Theo, a transmasculine character on the very queer Netflix series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Cast on the show at the tender age of 17, the now 18-year-old actor is one of the youngest non-binary actors in Hollywood. Watson is a native of Raleigh, North Carolina, where they honed their acting chops at the Burning Coal Theater Company and Raleigh Little Theater. While they did play small roles in Nashville and Drop Dead Diva, it was a nationwide casting call that led them to be cast in their breakout role on Sabrina. In a recent Netflix video, Lachlan described how part of what makes the character of Theo special was the opportunity to inject some of their own life experiences into helping make the character feel real. I got cast in Sabrina and they put in the end of the email, if you want to share your story, your journey, we'd love to hear it. I said, yeah, fuck yeah, here you go. 18-year-old Ian Alexander is well known for playing Buck Vu on the Netflix series The OA. The producers cast Alexander in the role after putting out a nationwide call for a 14 to 15 year old Asian American transgender male. The character of Buck, like Alexander, is a trans masculine teenager of Asian descent and shows many of the struggles that trans teenagers face growing up. Alexander, who comes from a conservative religious family, has described dealing with challenges like these, like parents who refuse to use his correct name and pronouns. As Alexander said to Them Magazine recently, it's not hard to find a trans actor. You can just put out an open casting call and people will respond. I think there were close to 400 responses to the OA casting call, and it's growing every day. I'm noticing more opportunities for trans roles, and when I go in for these auditions, I'm seeing more trans people there. It's amazing. I want to see trans people every day in the film industry. Asia Kate Dillon, a 34-year-old non-binary actor, stars in the Showtime series Billions as Taylor Mason, the first regular character on American television that identifies as non-binary. Dylan also made waves when, as an Emmy nominee, they challenged the Television Academy on their use of gendered categories for their awards. This challenge also prompted the MTV Movie and TV Awards to remove gender from their awards categories as well. More recently, Dylan also voiced a non-binary character in the Rooster Teeth series Genlock. Their character, Valentina Romanitian, is gender fluid, going by the name Val when mask presenting and Valentina when femme presenting. These are only three examples, of course. There are more. And as more TV shows and movies with trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming characters are created, there will be more trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming actors to fill those parts. Thanks for watching this Queer Space video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.